We got a game, and today we're going to try something. We are going to try to play just lots and lots of Tanuki. Just Tanuki all the time, everywhere. And if you don't know what uh, Tanuki means, it means to play elsewhere. So your opponent plays a move, and shoot, instead of responding to that move, eh, we just go do something else. And that's what we did here in this corner. Our opponent played a second move here, and we're going to go, that's fine. That's totally great, opponent. You're doing you. I'm going to go play over here. Wow, it's just... <laughs> quashing that stone. Very good. All right, we did give up that corner. <laughs> uh, but we're okay with this. We're just going to continue. And maybe play some moves. I guess we should play one more on this side. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Really wants that corner. Good for you, White. Good for you. You can have that corner. Uh, maybe I, I probably should wait to take that Atari. There's not as much Aji after White gets these two moves, but there's still some Aji. Let's approach over here and see if White wants another big corner. No, White says no. <laughs> Very good. Uh, dun, dun, dun. What do we do? We play this. Uh, we've tanukied a lot. I haven't actually been counting. We should we should have been counting. <laughs> I don't really want a tanuki here. I think this is important. Okay, we're just gonna run out. That's fine. Running running fights are good for tanukiing. Let's make this exchange. Although maybe Hane is better. Mm, no, this is fine. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, this is going great. <laughs> I have to play... Oh, this doesn't actually work. Right, he played that one first. I read it when White plays this one first, which doesn't work. Um, I guess it's still... It's, no, no, it's still, it works the exact same. But... This way definitely doesn't is not a good idea. Don't do this. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> just ridiculous. Okay. What we want to do is to get him to play that Atari. <laughs> that would be so grand. So grand. This was terrible. What did I do here? We we were too we were too in a rush to Tanuki, I fear, and we didn't even Tanuki, so we didn't even get the Tanuki credit. Uh, let's just ask. Let's see if we can surround him on the outside. I know this seems like it's a bad idea, but it only seems that way. We're just gonna give him this entire <laughs> bottom left quadrant of the board. Okay. Mm, this one better? I think this one's better. Uh -huh. mm. dun, dun, dun. I think we just play here or here. Not sure. They're both... Ah, eh, this one's fine. This has a nice follow-up. For a good shape. That one we don't care about, right? Because... We already agreed that the corner was dead. So we gave White a huge corner. Alright, we can, we can Tanuki now. <laughs> San Rensei! There we go. <laughs> That's a shape. So White has a humongous bottom left-hand corner and the top left cor corner, and uh, you know we're we're doing we're doing stuff. We're going places. Totally fine. Okay, we're gonna play a little fighting Joseki here again. I know I should be tunuking all this. 
Uh, but you know, it's going fine. How is this going so well? Oh, really? I don't think you can play that. I mean, I mean, he can play that, but this is okay. You still have to come back here. What? What is this? What kind of go are we playing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Uh, that's fine. We'll just pull back. I have all this thickness and he's just like scrambling. He is, he is so intimidated. He must not like the corner I gave him. He must have felt real bad about that corner. Oh, really? Uh, I mean, pull back again? Like, you're just kind of strangling yourself here. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. Now what about these three stones? What? 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 Okay. All right, continue. Try to live there. And meanwhile, your corner's doomed. <laughs> what? No, you can't play on all the... All right, this is a great goal lesson. I know we totally trashed the bottom left, and no one should imitate what I do ever. But this, like, let's make three weak groups in the middle of, like, a Sanren Se formation? Like, I want it to be the one tanukiing, <laughs> not my opponent. And look at it. That's not at all how it went. All right, let's cover this, because that's big. He's got to play there. And then we just play... Okay. Don't, that's not the move you were supposed to play. Don't know if you're aware of that. Can I play this one? Kind of. Uh, can I play it right now? No. Can I play this one? Maybe. What happens here? Like, I really, inquiring minds need to know what happens here. I don't think it's that good for me. Um, so I want to play this. Oh, but I can play... Yeah, I can do it this way. This way. This works. I can do, I can do this, like, grunting style, where you just play the most crude forcing moves you can. Just go, <clears throat> just, just get in there and give it a good grunt. So you can play both sides. Meanwhile, we helped out white a lot. <laughs> but we're fine, because we still have this corner. We still have this attack here. We're actually under attack now, though. And that is concerning. No. Oh, okay. It's going to give us a move. That's great. All right. No, no more problems. This is our game. We'll just play here. Can you cut? You can kind of cut, but it's fine. Uh, meanwhile, I still, I'm still just delaying, like annoy, just finishing off this corner here. Um, I should play it at some point. Is this good? Should I play this one? This one feels like he gets too much eye space. Although this one's even better for limiting eye space. Let's just play this one. This is one. Well. I kind of want him to run a little bit. Which one? Which one is best? This, this, or this? All three of these. They're all good. They're all solid. But for very different reasons. I like that one. Let's, let's, let's just go with... <laughs> Make my own humongous corner to match his bottom left. Or her. Or they. Or it. Whoever I'm playing against. Uh... Here doesn't really compute. He's got these cuts. Dun, dun. All right, let's just cover. Let's just cover. This is like totally reasonable. Hmm. You can even just back off. He's gonna play there. I'm gonna have all the safest stones in the history of Go. My stones are gonna be so safe. Mm. All right, do you want to exchange? Let's ask about an exchange. <laughs> no, he says no. <laughs> no exchanges. 
Can I just play here or here? Can I play this one? Looks fine. So we just play it. All right, white group. Now what? Oh, he's gonna come this way. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. I would like to know the plan. Would love to know the plan. What is the plan? What is going? What? Oh, that's not really a good plan. Uh, is this? Is there any advantage? Yeah, there is a little bit of advantage of doing it this way. Huh. Not necessarily, though. Yeah, we just need to play here. This is fine. Mm hmm. Got plenty of liberties. We can just extend. We can just cover. <laughs> just eat. And then come back in Hane. Oh dear. Oh dear. Poor white. Poor white. I only have four liberties, but you know, I think that's enough. We can play all these moves. I should have actually read anything before I played this way. <laughs> uh, that That's a true story. I should have read anything before playing this way. Right, we're still not really worried about this. I can even push one more. That's how crazy this is. Right, this is just madness, right? Because I have four. All right, so let's extend one more. Can I play this one? Let's just play here. <laughs> and... Do I have to play this one? Dun, 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 dun. Just play there. Just play there. No problems. No problems, let's drink some tea. All right, this was supposed to be a Tanuki game and instead my opponent just went crazy. Our opponents do do that. I guess it's funny that they did it at the San Rensei. Like that's, that's like one of the most known explored patterns ever. Oh, he's gonna make life over here. That's nice. Can we take away a liberty in the process though? That's kind of funny. I want to. I want to. <laughs> Be like, I don't care about your eyes here. I'm going to eat this. We had, we were attacking this, 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 and this. All in exchange for giving white two big corners and giving up. Well, I mean, I guess it's part of the big corner. I gave up one. So, yeah. Are we going to try this now? Okay. Okay. Play this way. I just play this way, right? Does it matter? Might not matter. Play this way. Hmm. Hmm. Do, do, okay, have to play here. Have to play here. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. And then here we have to play here. One, two, three, four. Have to play here. <laughs> Really? Uh, I, guess, I, I guess, yeah, you can, that's fine. You can play that. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're really gonna run this out? We're now playing over here? Okay, I'm game. I'm in, let's do it. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. One, two, three. Oh, he's just making ice. Okay. 
Yeah, he's going to make this live and this live. That's fine. We will allow this. This was silly. This was silly. Uh, I don't... I. Was there anything educational here? Do we learn any lessons? Let's let's learn some lessons. I guess I guess actually the best lesson we're going to learn is this bottom right hand corner, because it's actually well I don't think white can live here, but it is an interesting life and death problem. Um, if we just hane and pull back, that effectively oh he gave up. Oh, there, there's the win. Okay. All right. Well, let's, let, I don't know. Let's put it in the robot and just see what we did wrong, particularly in the left-hand side of the board. I know, I know, I, ugh, I, uh, it hurts. It hurts. But we made up for it, okay? We somehow induced our opponent into going crazy and then just had, just had some crazy chasing fun go stuff. So here, hang on one second. Let me let me do some homework. All right, we're back. Uh, oh. We have some talking to do because number one, uh, I definitely want to show you what happened in the left hand corner. What what should yeah what I could have feasibly figured out about the left hand corner, and we're definitely going to talk about the life and death in the bottom right hand corner, and uh. Also, I have to take back something because when White really started making all these little tiny groups on the right-hand side, the robot was like, that's cool. Like, like that all happened during here. And so White didn't actually lose the advantage, uh, you know, until, until you know, a few of those groups were, were slightly mismanaged. And then once they were, then it was just, then it was just a clobbering uh, and Black had all the initiative. But... Uh, yeah, like, like I definitely underestimated how good my result was in the bottom left at first, and then I made it worse. <laughs> and then I overestimated my position when white split into multiple groups, but then my opponent made it worse. So moral of the story, don't, don't play moves. You can only make things worse. Anyway, let's show you some of the highlights here. And do, 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 this is all fine. One interesting little note that the after this Tanuki, the robot's preferred moves to actually just pull back, which is fascinating to me because that's not the move I learned. The, the move I learned was this one, which is the one my opponent played. That's the traditional response to the Tanuki. And so this is a pretty exciting little development for the robot to say, no, 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 just play here. Um, but of course, playing there does leave this other Aji uh, that you can kind of see you know, leaves us co. Like, that's nasty. <laughs> that's, a, that's, but this is amazing. <laughs> so, I don't know. I haven't fully explored this, but I just thought it was an interesting wrinkle. Over here, Black gets a little bit of an advantage going, um, just with some initiative. And indeed, up till here, Robot doesn't, you know, this isn't the worst move in the game, but this is still a pretty big loss. Robot's not a fan of coming all the way over here to activate this Aji. Um, what's interesting to me is that so often when you see this type of shape, the robot has no interest in developing it, right? This shape converts a lot of this uh, space of the board from neutral to Black's influence. And so you usually want to balance that with a stone and threaten to build it into a moyo or territory or something. And so often in so many of these robot games, the robot's just like, nah, <laughs> this, is not, this is not most important. And granted, it has this 0.3 move here that's fine. Um, so if you do play, it's totally playable. But yes, in so many cases, you see the robot, you know, wanting to go play the other side of the board. And in this case, I kind of, like, like in my human brain, I see this as actually valuing the white wall here as having more potential than the black wall here. And that's, fen that's I mean, you can kind of see it, um, just because black's wall has a lot of defects. Like, it's real, it's, it's fine. Like, black's wall is not going to die, but it does have a lot of defects for white to take advantage of later if black does try to convert it to territory. So anyway, I think that's as fascinating and worthy of pointing out. So right here, uh, we did indeed pincer, and the robot wants me to activate the corner right away. I was a little bit slow. More, even more than just um, playing this uh, this right away, it actually even liked this attachment better, which was just fantastic, right? Just 
Like this is, this is just fascinating go. It's hard to see which stones are on the board and which aren't with that variation on, but um, anyway, we got in this running fight. Again, still activate the corner, more running, still activate the corner, which I did. And then here, uh, my opponent was a little bit too defensive. White actually needs this move to really quash the corner. The problem with this is that if you play this, black actually is left with uh, basically the outside. Here, the robot says this is going to turn into, let me just show you the result, uh, an exchange, um, where basically black gets the outside and actually, wow, it says play there or there. Huh. Fascinating. I would assume a human would, would you know, kill off the Aji, but not necessarily. Actually, if white does play here, I didn't look at this. Hmm. No, it's actually, it's still really hard to use these as, uh, these black stones. Very hard. Hmm. Anyway, totally foreign variation to me. Uh, let's go back to game. Um, anyway, in the game, my opponent just plays as Tiger's Mouth. <coughs> and in the game I played here, and it's not the best move, I need just a little bit more help on the outside. I just need to take this very crude looking peep. During the game, we talked about these grunting moves where it's just like, I want this. Ugh. And this is one of those times where I actually needed to play that grunting move. Because, let me turn the review off. Let's say I play that move. No, I said turn the review off, you dingus. <laughs> if I take this peep and white connects, now this is working. And you can see, if we, re if we just play this out after this white turn, black has this move. And that's fantastic. You're, and I know you're all worried. What happens if white just uh, takes that? You don't care. <laughs> you just play there. <laughs> and that's fantastic. Uh, if white tries to break out, immediately starts this co thing. But white can't really hope to fight a co here. Like, like it's just collapses. It's not even a co. Um, so the combination of moves... To prevent this from working is to see if you can get this peep. And so if black responds here, white actually shouldn't respond here. White should respond something like this and just let black cut through. Isn't that fantastic? This is kind of the type of thing that the robot uh, sees and thinks is going to happen. So uh, this is where this is where you really need to do your reading. And I didn't. <laughs> I, I'm playing these very, very intuitive, very instinctual moves and... You know, these are kind of fast games, more, more, almost more for entertainment purposes than, you know, quality Go playing, both mine and yours. <laughs> um, but this is, this is the type of preparatory, preparatory move that wins games. Because if I can read this out and see this doesn't work, and I can read this out and see that this does work, oh man, it's killer. So anyway, we're a little bit sad about how that played out. I could still play it here. Um, but at this, at this point, white kind of knows that the, you know, the jig is up and can respond more appropriately. And this is as, is not quite as big of a situation. This has to play there. Um, it's not even any situation like black can just die if black doesn't respond correctly. So it's not, it's not as big of a question for white to answer. Not as hard of a question. Here, uh, I need to just play here. <laughs> I was getting way too fancy. I was thinking, I really just need to help this, but without this peep or any other move right in this vicinity, there's nothing I can do about these three stones. So this is just kind of giving up. And we play it out. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. This move is not fine. This is a bad move. I don't need this. I shouldn't play it. I just thought it looked pretty. It was one of those kinds of things. This move I didn't actually like for my opponent because it's not technically needed, but Robot says it's very big. <laughs> And the reason why it's still very big is I still have this Aji here. <laughs> of course, I didn't see that. So these are all the exchanges. We play San Rense. This move's good. This move's good. Uh, this move for white is dubious. We start to lose a little bit of advantage for white. And after black gets here, um, like, like white, everybody's fine, but black starts to feel really nice because all of this is starting to work together. Now, granted, white does have, you know, this little turtle head poking out, uh, but 
that's that's we can deal with that. Like there's plenty of points left on this board to to manage. Okay, so after here, white white actually this was also was surprising to me. I thought this um, endangered the corner way more than it did, and so I was mistaken again here. Robot says no, no, that's fine. Um, next move, robot says bad though, and so this is so white loses a little bit of ground here, making these exchanges. Um, robot also says this is better than pushing in directly for reasons I don't quite understand. Maybe this clamp is more useful later on. I don't know. Um, but whatever it is, white is struggling a little bit, losing a little bit of ground, but still not fine. It's still fine. Like white actually still has the advantage through here just by a couple points. Um, robot very much wants me to Atari there or not Atari Hane. Um, but all this is pretty expected. Uh, until around here. And after this cut, black should just connect. This is this is the reasonable move. You see it makes the AI variation happy. It's like, oh, here's what I think is gonna happen. And I went really crude, huh, grunty style to get this very forced cut. And this is significantly worse. Even though it, it looks it looks good for black, right? Like in the game, didn't this look amazing for black? Uh I mean, I got to kill stuff. I got to continue the attack here and here. It looked like it was just the right amount of grunting. I assure you it was not because white should play here. <laughs> and this is the move that white did not play. That, uh, you know, makes... <laughs> makes black shape a lot harder to deal with. <laughs> um, yeah, this is just the key point. White cannot even have dreams of maybe coming down and separating this group. Uh, but in the game, white played here, uh, which means black got to play this point. And now this group is actually much happier. Like, it's it's not going to be, you know, totally separated. It's got a little more resources to, to deal with it. So white missed a shape point. And this was a huge loss. If I turn the AI back on. Yeah, and this, in the middle of this, this is the move that actually swings it from white advantage to black advantage. Because white missed the, the shape point. So, uh, keep that in mind. All right, to here, um, white makes life. This is good. Oh, I didn't actually look at this one. Was this? I play, I picked the robot's least favorite one, of course. The robot, though, really wants me to keep pressure on this. Just make this exchange right now, and then play this one. Fascinating. Again, this is the one that really threatens eye space. It's the most aggressive. And when you play Go, your first candidates, your first choice should be the most aggressive move. I didn't play it because I didn't really want to read it out too much. And this is a hard, this is a hard move to read. Um, so there's just a lot of variations here when you play these types of aggressive attacking <laughs> moves. Um, you know, because just to try to explain why there's so many variations to read. White has this cut, this cut, this push cut. Uh, there might even be this little elephant jump, maybe. Um, but really, at least there's three main fighting cut lines that are pretty long sequences. <clears throat> and so I just played the safe one again. Uh, timed internet game, played with a camera on, trying to talk to you guys. Like that. Uh, here, again, Robot wants a little bit more of an advantage to play here. And really just, again, keep the pressure on this white group. I missed a really sad move here during the game. Well, let's just actually go to the game variation to show you. After white extends here, I need to just take this Atari right now. <laughs> and then my position is so much easier, so much better. I don't have all this other garbage later on to, to deal with. So I missed this very easy Atari, which is always tragic. Uh, yes, white, white should immediately not fill this in and let this sort of thing happen. Um, you know, because, yeah, <laughs> better than in game. <laughs> all right, this cut, I play, this sequence is beautiful by me. I play all the correct robot fighting moves up until here. At this point, it wants to Hane. And I get that Hane anyway in the game, so it's actually pretty similar uh, to what you saw, but the timing is good enough to do it now. So I don't need to come back first and play this way. All right, this uh, is all kind of fine. I mean, it's not, it's 
like it's already kind of decided there's no chance for white to escape here is this how can white use this best however the robot is screaming at me the entire time because the robot really wants to play this move this is just forcing um it's just poking at this defect right here and it's a free move uh, essentially to help spoil eye shape or at least keep eyes um you know not from being easily attained on white's behalf so this is just a really good pressure point it doesn't really change the outcome of this living and then this dying it doesn't change any of that but again it's it's i have time and white actually like it's a speed bump kind of move it's it, it <laughs> it's hard for white to deal with and it gives me better shape to attack later on if i if white is irresponsible in any of the slightest <laughs> um, there's actually a lot of different ways i was just going through some of the robot variations for how to keep this thing short on liberties and while they, they all don't work, a lot more of them work than the one I showed you in game. And so that's just always encouraging to know because the heuristic is, you know, when you have all of this thickness, all these stones are already on the board, your opponent has nowhere to go. Like you just have to make sure there's no good spot for white to find liberties. So that's all good. Uh, oh yeah, this was a surprising. Instead of here, what about said, oh, I just, yeah, just play here again. <laughs> Like, cause in the game, I either have to, I can either give white an extra liberty down here, or I can, I have to pull back and fill that in at some point, which also results effectively in white getting an extra liberty. Um, so do the same. And in this case, playing, forcing white down more, and uh, is, is this worth, is this better? <laughs> okay. Uh, do, 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 do. We play all this. This is fine. Oh, yeah, Robot hated this and this. Robot is still waiting for Black to come in here and do this move, among other things. Um, we play that out. Oh, this is this is not... That's where the game ended. But let's talk about this lower left-hand corner, because during the game, uh, I, I, I viewed it as a life and death problem. I was like, oh, that'll be fun later. And so if you want, I would encourage you to pa pause the screen, see if you can kill this right now on your own. And uh, then I'll tell, I'll tell you, I'll show you the solution. So pause it, do it. It's good. It's good for you, right? Life and death reading. Like here's classic. All right. Now that you're all back and I'm sure you've all paused because none of you would be willing to make a liar out of me. Um, even during the game, I commented... I just give white, yeah, you know, white plays over there or something. I commented that, oh, this is like a, this is like an L plus one. L plus one lives whoever has the next move. So if black does this, white just lives there. And as far as the robot's concerned, this is actually one of the best results. So black can do a little bit better in terms of points. Um, but at least according to this, the, this little, you know, very limited readout robot, this is one of the best results. Um, which is funny because again, black can do better. And I don't, I don't quite, <laughs> I don't quite know, know, know what's up with that. Uh, but the big surprise is that oh, this isn't even co. I assume this was like co shape, but no, there's no co. I was, I was picturing something, in very, very hasty reading, where black starts with this move, and again, white or the robot, you know, liked this move almost as much as the other one. Um, but white has more choices this way. It's, it's much less forced. And depending on what white chooses will kind of determine what happens next. Um, this is the most fun one because black can get a Seki here. And you do this, the same... Oh, no, sorry, you don't do that. You play <laughs> this way, white blocks, and then you have this Seki sequence. And notice it is Seki for white in Gote. White has to live in Gote. And so that's what I mean by black has to do a little bit better or can do a little bit better. However, the problem is that now white can destroy these points. <laughs> so it's actually more of a wash than you might think. And uh, it also endangers the potential Aji, or not, well, endangers it for black, that is. But it brings back to life some of that Aji that this group might be able to find too. So not, not desirable, um, at least according to the robot, because Basically, the points are a wash, even though locally, if, we on, if we're only caring about these points, yes, black can do better than making life. But I just thought it was really interesting that when I looked at this and the robot was like, oh yeah, just play, uh, whoops, 
just play there. I was like, what? <laughs> really? That was not my plans at all. I was totally going to come in this way and ask. Now, like I said, there are some other ways for white to respond here. Uh, namely, this is also uh, actually quite a nice way for white to respond. Um, which is which looks very strange if you've never seen it before. But it's really hard for black to do anything. And you can kind of see it. Like, it's like, well... What, what are we going to do? Like, this still just lives. So, um, fascinating life and death shape. Again, I think the key heuristic, if you wanted the shortcut, right? If you didn't want to do all that reading and you are in this position in the game, see if you can get this down to an L group. And if you can't, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's implying, or at least giving you some evidence that it might not be killable, might not be worth your time reading. And, you know, we can see that it gets to an L plus one group very quickly, although it does have this extra stone here, which sometimes changes things, but in this case, no, because it's white's move. Um, and if you don't know, if you, haven't, if you haven't learned this, an L group, this is an L group, just these four stones, L groups are always dead. L plus one, L plus one stone there, or even there. Um, often when we talk about L plus one, we're talking about it there. This one doesn't count. This one is dead to us. Don't pay attention to that one. That one is adding nothing to the value of this group. Let's make it purple. Make it go away. Um, but if you have an L plus one, whoever plays will make it live or kill it, whatever they want. And if you have an L plus two group, this is not an L plus two, because remember that stone is garbage. But if we change that stone to white, and we go back to our beautiful neon green color, you can see that's an L plus one, two spokes. This one isn't on the board yet. We're pretending it's not on the board. And that's always alive. So L plus two is always alive. L groups are always dead. L plus one is, is who knows. And in the last video, if you haven't watched it, I think we went over this very briefly with stones on the edge. If you have a group of, uh, here, let's go all the way to the beginning. <laughs> if you have a group of six stones on the edge of the board, and let's say they have nowhere to go. This is always dead. <laughs> All right, if you have seven, it's just like an L plus one. Whoever plays kills it. And if you have eight, just like an L plus two, it's always alive. And so these are two amazing life and death heuristics that uh, will greatly save you a lot of time during your games if you can just memorize them. L groups and stick groups. So anyway, moral of the story, if we go back to the end of the game here, there just isn't much to do in this corner. So this is actually this is actually alive for white. And, and it, it made me very sad because I, I assumed that this was all just so much more important. We didn't have time to deal to do the life and death down here. But it turns out it didn't, didn't quite work. Uh, oh, there's a couple other things in my review that I missed. Uh, there's still a lot of opportunity for black to actually get Aji down here just by playing this move and basically really force white to uh, have to come back and take this off the board or fight for it or, or let it live. And I never took advantage of that. That was another reason for my for my loss. Again, we put up the chart. Not my loss of the game, but my loss of points during this section um, was just that I was not... I never took advantage of these four stones because they still had Aji that I could have exploited. Anyway, uh, it ended up being uh, a crazy entertaining game, I hope. And uh, certainly not my best go playing, but I guess that's when we learn the most, right? Like, yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. That's that's the spirit of this channel. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are all playing lots of Go this summer, uh, assuming you're in the Northern Hemisphere. And uh, yeah, happy going. <laughs>